Hi, welcome to Test Academy TV. In this video, you will learn how to add decimal numbers with or without regrouping. Okay, let's start the lesson with this example. 59 hundredths plus 673 thousandths plus 4 tenths plus 5,672 ten thousandths. How are we going to add decimal numbers? Okay, here are the rules in adding decimal numbers. First, arrange the numbers in columns. Second, align the decimal point. Third, add from right to left. Fourth, regroup if necessary. And fifth, put the decimal point in the sum directly below the decimal point of the addends. Now, let's arrange the numbers in column. To arrange the numbers in column, we need to align the decimal point of the addends. The digits in each number are aligned according to their place value. Okay, let's add now. We will start adding from right to left. Since there is only one digit in the ten thousandths place, so we will just bring down 2. Next, add 3 plus 7 equals 10. Since 10 has 2 digits, we need to regroup. So, we bring down 0 and carry 1. Next, add all the digits in the hundredths place. 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 6 equals 23. Bring down 3 and then carry 2. Next, add the digits in the tenths place. 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5 equals 22. Okay, bring down 2 and then carry 2. Last, add the digits in the ones place. So 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 2. Okay, then put the decimal point in the sum directly below the decimal point of the addends. So the answer is 2 and 2,302 ten thousands. Another example, let's add 2,314 ten thousandths plus 4 tenths plus 10 hundredths plus 215 thousandths. Okay, let's arrange the numbers in columns. So this is the proper arrangement. Then let's add from right to left. Okay, so let's bring down 4. Then add 1 plus 5 equals 6. 3 plus 0 plus 1 equals 4. 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 equals 9. And since there is no whole number to be added, write 0. And then put the decimal point. The answer is 9,464 ten Okay, next example. 3 and 8 hundredths plus 1,378 ten thousandths plus 5 and 276 thousandths plus 42 and 9 tenths. Okay, let's arrange the numbers in columns. Align the decimal point and the digits according to their place value. Okay, this is the proper arrangement of the numbers. Now, let's add from right to left. Since there is only one digit in the ten thousandths place, so let's bring down 8. Next, add 7 plus 6 equals 13. Bring down 3, carry 1. Next, 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 7 equals 19. Bring down 9, carry 1. Okay, add the digits in the tenths place. 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 9 equals 13. So, let's bring down 3 and carry 1. Next, add the digits in the 1's place. 1 plus 3 plus 0 plus 5 plus 2 equals 11. Bring down 1, carry 1. Okay, let's add the digits in the 10's place. 1 plus 4 equals 
5. Okay. Now, let's put the decimal point in the sum. So, let's yeah. put it directly yeah. below the decimal yeah. point of the addends. The answer is 51 and 3,938 ten thousands. Okay, last, let's answer this problem. So, let's arrange the numbers in columns. Align the decimal point and the digits according to their place of value. This is the proper arrangement of the numbers. Now, let's add from right to left. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Then, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Next, 8 plus 9 plus 4 equals 21. Bring down 1, carry 2. Next, add the digits in the tenths place. 2 plus 7 plus 0 plus 5 plus 6 equals 20. So, bring down 0, carry 2. Then, add 2 plus 5 plus 0 plus 2 plus 7 equals 16. Bring down 6 and carry 1. Last, add the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 1 equals 12. Since these are the last digits to be added, so we will just write 12. Then, put the decimal point in the sum. So, the answer is 126 and 178 ten thousandths. Now, you may answer this problem. Just comment your answer in the comment box below. I hope you can get the correct answer. Thank you for watching. God bless.